Hi, art teachers. Thanks for joining me to learn a little bit more about this year's ESU8 art shows. I'm Steph Wanick, the ESU8 art coordinator. So let's start off by talking about some of the important dates for this year's show. For the K-8, formerly known as Elementary Art Show, uh, we need to have your registrations by March 17th. But then entries are due to the main office by March 31st. You can send those entries on our media van or drive them in yourself. And then the show is open to the public from April 7th through the 11th. Uh, it's open 1030 to 5 daily, except on Sunday where it will run 12 to 3. And we look forward to seeing so many of your families come uh, view the show. The high school show, um, we will have registration due on April 14th. Uh, schools will hang their artwork April 24th by 3 p.m. Lots of schools bring students to help the teachers hang those works. Um, and we do it by 3 p.m. because we have judges coming in that evening to judge or later in the afternoon. Uh, the show will be open to the public all day on uh, from noon till 8 p.m. on April 25th and then April 26th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. And um, after the um, at 1 p.m. then we start the critique where the judge might actually be there. Otherwise, they write up um, some comments for the group. And after that's over, we let you go ahead and tear down with your students. So the shows are always um, located at the Antelope County Fairgrounds building. It's right along Highway 275 on the southeast side of Neely. Um, so it's pretty easy to find, and you'll see we moved the show here several years ago, but it is a large, well-lit, clean space for our artwork, and we're very lucky to have such a wonderful place to show it. The registration information. So most of our information is actually located right on our website. If you go to ESU8.org, you can click Departments and then select Art. Um, however, I have a link embedded right here for you. If you access our presentation, you can just click this link as well. So let's go out to the Art Department page. Okay, so here we go. This is our home page for the Art Department. Um, uh, let's start out with a K-8 Spring Art Festival information. And I will click that link. So first off, um, you see some um, basic information that we've already talked about. And then if I click the registration form, you have two options. One is interactive word and one is a PDF. On the interactive word, you can actually type in that form and print it out, all typewritten. For the PDF, you could um, hand write in there and either fax it to us or mail it to us um, or scan it and email it. So I'll just go out to the PDF for now. So again, it, it asks for this registration form by March 17th. Um, you list your school and then your K-8 enrollment. Now that is the total number of students you have in K-8 through in your school. Um, we base the number of pieces that you are allowed to bring on that K-8 enrollment. So please try to have that done for us and accurate. We try to make this process as fair as, as possible for all the participating schools. Okay, so that is, you send in that form before you do anything else. Um, don't send us any artwork until you have heard a number back from us. And so we, we intend to get you that late in the day on March 17th. If you could have your registration form in even a day early, that would help us out. But we will email you as soon as possible with the number of pieces. At that point you will want to access the, the entry form. And again, we have it available in Interactive Word or PDF for your convenience. All 
Okay, so here again you're going to list your school name. By this point, uh, filling this out, you will know how many entries you're allowed. Um, so again, that's the maximum that you're allowed. Maybe you're going to send in less, so you'll, you'll list the total number of entries and how many pieces in the K through 2, 3 through 4, 5 through 6, and 7 through 8. Um, you will also, um, uh, you can indicate which category the pieces are in. Okay, so this year we have a special category of Nebraska 150, which we'll de detail later, but you will see that we have added that 13th category. So again, you list the student's name, their grade, and the type of media. And if you use that interactive word form, it's really nice because you can type all of that in. All right, I'm going to go ahead back to our previous page. Um, next, what you'll want to use is that Art Festival tag sheet. Again, we have the interactive Word document where you can type right on the tags, so you don't need to worry about handwriting all of the tags for your students. Okay, that downloaded since I um, accessed the interactive Word document. Okay, so I could type right in this sheet for each of my students. Um, the tricky part about tags for elementary is that different grade levels get different colors of tags. So let's go back to the website and take a look at which grade level should have which color tag. That is actually listed in the Art Festival guidelines here. And again, the guidelines are a lot of the information that we're already going over. So kindergarten through second grade all get a yellow tag. Pink is for third and fourth grade, blue for fifth and sixth, and green for seventh and eighth. This really helps us sort out the art pieces. Last year, I believe we had about 1,800 art pieces. So when they have those colored tags, we can easily sort them and get them in the right places as we hang all 1800 pieces. So your, your help in that will really um, be appreciated. Okay, so once you um, fill out your entry form and you complete your tag sheets, um, you need to um, mount your artwork onto tag board or construction paper. I do have to say tag board is obviously a little sturdier and um, probably preferred, but definitely construction paper works if that's what you have on hand. I would warn you against um, masking tape. Uh, last year we had a lot of pieces falling off of their uh, mountings because of um, that masking tape just being a weak um, adhesive. So if you can use maybe a Movilis tape or another um, medium that's that will hold the work on a little bit better, that will help us out. Something else you can do for your students is you can print this poster that we have um, that will help advertise our show. Hang it around your community, hang it in your school, and maybe even uh, send it home as a note with elementary students. Uh, you could also post this on your school website or um, have a link uh, in a digital newsletter. And we also have some certificates that you can print for each student to um, show that they participated in the art fair. Okay, you can include their name and um, your signature. And there's three different variations of this certificate to use. So let's now go back a page and check out the high school art show information. Okay, just like the elementary show, we have an entry form that is due. I, I just downloaded the interactive word. I'm actually going to go out here to this PDF instead. And this is due this year by April 14th. 
So this is a little bit different for the high school. We don't tell you how many pieces um, that you're allowed to bring. However, you would be allowed to bring no more than eight per category. And if you see how many categories we have, I think that that will definitely, even in the large schools, um, allow for enough uh, for you to bring your students work. Now, each piece will be charged out at 50 cents uh, for the show. So just know that, yes, you can bring a lot, but you also have to pay 50 cents per item. And we don't want you to send in any money with your entry form. We will bill that out to your school at a later date. Now, just like the elementary show, we have a special category for high school this year, and it's um, the Nebraska 150 as well. I will um, tell you all about that category later in this webinar. Okay, so you're going to indicate the number of pieces in uh, each category here for us. And I'll go back to our art show information. Again, that's due Friday, April 14th. You will not send in your work with it because um, you will bring your own work as you um, set up and help us hang that work. So if we look at the contest and show categories and special category there, there's a better description of each of those categories if you have any questions about that. And we'll go back a page. Now we'll look at our guidelines for the high school show and general information. Again, those dates that we've listed. Any student enrolled in uh, 9th through 12th grade may participate. And um, again, there's eight entries per category for each school. Um, now tags can be printed off. Your high school tags are just white. And we do have that interactive sheet that will help you um, type in those if that, if that helps you out. Some schools I've seen do labels as well. Um, but one special note is that you do hang your own work. And so we do need you to bring your own staple guns. That's what schools tend to use. Some had hammer or uh, hammer and nails for bigger pieces um, but we also need you to bring pliers and things for the removal of your work we don't have a lot of extra tools to lend out so if you can bring your own tools and staple guns and things that will really help out also you might even want to bring in some extra tape and things in case your mountings do fall and like I said with the elementary uh, masking tape just has proven to be not so reliable All right, we'll go back to our information. Again, there's these tag sheets that you may fill out online or, um, or handwrite. And we do have posters to help us advertise the shows. Please hang those in around your school. Um, again, you can advertise in your school newsletters. Um, but we really want to make sure that you're your school community knows that they can come view this show. We do also advertise in local papers, so that will be available as well. Okay, as I go back, okay, so that's the information on our ESU8 website, it is always available for you there, um, and um, just gives you kind of the basics on. Uh, what to do for the art show. After the art show, there will be links here which will detail the, um, the award recipients at each show. So you can click back to the same link and there will be another link right under each of these that tells about the show and who won the awards. All right, I'm going to go back to our presentation. And let's just recap this very quickly. For the K-8, it's really important to send in your registration form by March 17th. 
Then we'll contact you with the number of pieces that you're allowed to bring. And then you send us in the entry form with the tagged artwork by March 31st. Again, you can send that artwork on our media van, which comes to your school once a week. Or if you're at a school that's close by, you can just drive it in yourself. For the high school art show, we need your registration by April 14th. Don't send your payment now. Your district will be billed. And then you come with your artwork on April 24th to hang. Just a note on those tags again for K through 8, please use the correct color of tag per grade level. But for the high school show, they're just white tags. And if your conference show is very close, um, you know, and you need to take work directly from our show to the conference show or whatever, go ahead and um, just tuck the conference tag underneath ours. Okay, a little information on our judging. For kindergarten through eighth grade, we have two best of show awards. One is in the K-4 area and one is in fifth through eighth. But every piece does get a ribbon. We have um, blue, red, and white ribbon. So every piece in K-8 does receive a ribbon. For the high school, we really leave the number of ribbons um, up to the judge's discretion. So uh, we do have a best of show, outstanding merit, superior, excellent, and honorable mention. So the superior, excellent, honorable, honorable mention are all the blue, red, and white ribbons. And again, we let the judge just um, decide on what he or she is seeing and um, what they want to award. Okay, the special category that I was talking about earlier is the Nebraska 150. As we all know, Nebraska is turning 150 years old on March 1st, and so we thought we'd use that as inspiration for a special category this year. In the K-8 show, um, we want students to fill in an outline of Nebraska with a design of your choosing. And you all should have received an email about this or two, probably two emails about this earlier this year. Um, there is a link here to the outline that I sent you in that email, but if you need it again, it's there. And we're printing this on legal size paper and we're just leaving it really up to creativity to fill in. So I've done some work with some of our students and um, this is the different ways that one class filled it in. So I just left it very open for them to decide, um, whether it be a pencil drawing, um, something based on agriculture in the state or symbolism. You decide. For the high school show, um, we are leaving this very open to creativity. We just want students to create a piece inspired by Nebraska, in that, whether that be Nebraska history, culture, symbolism, um, you decide. Uh, this We're looking forward to seeing the varied works that come out um, of uh, students' own creativity on this matter. And so I want to just say thank you very much, um, and please contact me, uh, Steph Wanick, at esu8.org if you have any questions at all. Uh, you've probably had several emails coming out, and you will get more emails with the registration forms and things. Uh, but we always welcome your questions, and um, thank you so much for participating and making this show all that it is. You're Fabulous artwork is on display, and we want to celebrate that. Thank you.